happy Friday. Cheers, everybody. We've survived another week of the COVID crisis. Um, I'm Julia Torello from Ormond Main Street. I'm Becky Parker from Ormond Main Street. And we have news to share. We'll try to make it quick and catch you up. The big news is, of course, uh, that the federal government enacted another uh, group of funds for the Paycheck Protection Program and the Emergency Loan Program at the SBA. So if you have already applied, be in touch with your lender, make sure that they know where you are in the queue and that you're still interested. If you haven't applied, there are some lenders that are still taking applications. Uh, the SBA will not release the funds until Monday. So the banks are uh, kind of in limbo until that happens. But I know they are all prepared to move forward as quickly as possible with getting those loan proceeds out. Once again, it is $360 million for the Paycheck Protection Program. And I'm sorry, $360 billion for the Paycheck Protection Program and $60 billion for the EIDL loans and emergency grants. So that money will not last a long time, but it should do some good, and I hope you will apply for it. The other thing that is on everybody's mind is reopening. If you've been following this week, the Governor DeSantis convened a reopening task force, which has been at work all week. It was supposed to have released a report at the end of the day today, but it missed its deadline. Once it makes its recommendations to the governor, it is expected to take several days before he acts and uh, pushes out anything that will uh, give us guidance as to what and when we can reopen. The thing we hope you're doing and the thing we're doing is thinking about reopening. What are you going to need? How do you need to prepare? What will you need to do differently than you did before the crisis began? And specifics, do you need masks and gloves for your employees? Do you need hand sanitizer in your shop? Do you need to have a schedule of cleaning that you can share with your customers so that they feel comfortable coming back to shop? So those are all good things to think of. We are trying to put some of that on our website, which is ormondbeachmainstreet.com front slash small business resources. And as we get ideas and um, opportunities for you, we will post things there. That's all I have today. Becky has some uh, social media and some opportunities for you to share as well. Yeah, uh, we've got some, some more fun opportunities. We're trying to get creative about how we can use social media to our advantage. Um, we're, we're not meeting in person as much to do, to do events, as you know. So um, what we've got in the, in the queue is May 10th is Mother's Day. So uh, if you don't have that marked in your calendar, uh, make sure it is. But um, we're gonna do a virtual shopping event, a little bit similar to our Shop Local, Eat Local events that we've done in the past. Um, we will be creating a, a Facebook event page. So look out for that. It's going to be more important than ever for you to interact with this page, for you to be posting what you want to be promoting. Um, there's all sorts of things that you can do. This is for retail and for restaurants. Uh, this Mother's Day is on a Sunday as usual. Um, so you know, restaurants can plan special Mother's Day specials and um, retail can can showcase the the items that they think you know mothers would enjoy. We've got um, get her a massage, get her a candle, get her what you know whatever your budget allows. But this is a great opportunity for the community to support you and and to continue continue that that um, support local campaign. So stay tuned for that. Um, and again, I just want to stress how important it is that that you do participate in the social media portion. You know, they want to hear from you, not from us all the time. So um, we have over 7,000 followers. So this is, this is not just a shot in the dark opportunity. So, you know, we're, we're trying to, we're reaching that many people. So we hope you'll, 
you'll take advantage. Um, the second thing that I have is just um, look out for those newsletters from me. Again, if you're not on those newsletters, email Becky at ormondmainstreet.com. A lot of packed with a lot of important information. Um, we will be doing a series, rolling out a series of Facebook Live events, spotlighting you and your business. Again, the human beings, the people behind the small businesses, and this is an opportunity for you to showcase your products, tell your story, and update the community on what's, what's new with you and how they can continue to support you. We're gonna start that next week, actually. So again, email me if you're interested in being a part of that. And the last thing I have is just join us. We're, we're meeting bi-weekly, that we're meeting every other week. Wednesday, April 9th, 29th is at 5.30 is when we're meeting next for our merchants meeting. Uh, the Zoom information will be sent out via our private merchants page. That's www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash historic Ormond merchants if you're not already a member. Otherwise, just check that page. Um, and this will just be uh, kind of like our normal merchants meetings. We'll have a discussion um, with one another about um, just catching up and, and then Julie and I will have some agenda items, but it's gonna be happy hour and a time to connect. So that's all I have. Stay well, keep us up to date on everything that's happening with you. Let us know how we can help and let us know if you need help from your fellow business people, they're extremely generous. And I think that we are coming through this stronger together. We'll see you next time. Have a great weekend.